Traveling in winter has its own set of challenges, especially if you're trying to travel carry-on only. And in today's video, I'm going to show you why something like the outfit you wear on the plane is the most important thing that you'll pack. is trying to pack carry on only these days because the airlines are charging such fees for checked luggage and some are even charging for carry on luggage. So everything that I wear and everything in my personal item bag is probably the most important thing that I will pack and wear on my travel adventures, which means I always start off with what I'm wearing on the plane because what I'm wearing on the plane and what's in my personal carry on might have to get me through three or four days when I get to my destination if they lose my luggage. So that is the most important item for me to pack and I'm gonna go over what I choose and why I choose it, especially in winter travel. Now I have a couple of different flight outfits I wear and it kind of depends on the travel adventure I'm doing. If I'm doing something like work, I'm gonna be wearing something like this outfit you see here. It's going to allow me to use it for work as well as you know, something more casual during the trip, but let's break this down. All right, I always start off with my comfort basics, which are stretch pants with pockets. I have to have pockets so I can stick a lot of things in there if I need to, and a nice merino wool t-shirt. This is so comfortable and makes a great base. A versatile light layer is the next thing I add, and I usually opt for a stretch white collared shirt because it can be worn alone, over or under other pieces, so that makes it very versatile. Another layer that I add is a versatile warmth layer, and I opt for merino wool. I like a zip cardigan because I can wear it alone or I can wear it over things. I also like this one because I can zip it up into a turtleneck, so if it's really cold, it's going to keep me nice and warm on my travel adventures, work or pleasure. And of course, because it's winter, I'm going to add an insulated warmth layer like this jacket here. I like a three quarter length jacket because if it's for work, I might have nicer pants on. Something that has reflective lining is great for heat retention and water resistance just in case it's raining. So this kind of covers all my bases for being able to keep warm, strip down if it's hot, but be comfortable on the plane. So this is the outfit I wear most of the time because it's extremely comfortable and a lot of times when I'm traveling it's just very casual, so let's go through it. Again, we're going to start off with comfort basics. So this is a six pocket stretch pants, so they're comfortable, lots of pockets for me to put things in. Another stretch tee, this one's black and white, very stretchable, but this gives me a nice comfortable base layer and allows me to use this for the variety of other things when I'm traveling. I like to add another thin warmth layer on top of this and a merino wool hoodie fits the bill because it has this little hood if I need it, but it's a nice thin merino wool, which allows me to layer it underneath a lot of things and not be too bulky. It's also comfortable to wear if I need it underneath another jacket or just by itself if I wanna be hanging around, just being comfortable wherever I am. My next layer is a versatile warmth layer, and this is an insulated vest that has stretch panels, so that makes it really comfortable. It also takes out some of the bulk, so if I wanna put this vest on under a jacket, I don't have as much bulk behind me, but I have a layer of insulation in the front, plus it has a lot of pockets, which for me when I'm flying is important, so I can stick a lot of things in there. If they ask me to remove my waist pack or my crossbody sling, it's great. This next layer is a versatile weather layer with removable sleeves. This allows me to wear it as a vest or as a jacket, so that's very versatile. It also has a lot of pockets, so it's going to allow me to store a lot of things, but it's the perfect windbreaker slash raincoat to take with me and is also very packable. This is one of my favorite items to travel with. Now, if it gets really cold with that outfit I have on, I'm always going to be able to pack something like this, which is a packable puffer 
that's going to keep me really warm if it gets cold. So that way I have all of my bases covered, something if it's really cold, something if it's just a little bit breezy and wet, and then something like this if it's just not too cold or I'm just kind of hanging around the house and a little chilly, all the way down to just being able to work out in this t-shirt and my workout pants. So I get a lot of variety out of just this outfit alone and that doesn't even include what's already in my personal carry-on item. So let's talk about shoes. And unless I'm really gonna be playing in the snow a lot, I will not bring some big bulky, you know, winter snowshoe. And I'll generally just wear something like these. Um, these are what I travel with most of the time because this, if you can see right here, is really stretchy. So this is going to allow me to get the boot on and off, even if I don't untie it, but it also allows for some swelling while I'm traveling. They've got great treads on the bottom, nice and spongy, waterproof leather, plus laces that allow me to tie them up nicely. And when I wear them with even a pair of pants, you're really only seeing this much of the shoe, which leaves it to be pretty dressy and something that I can get away with, with some pair of jeans or a pair of pants. So these are something that I travel with a lot um, in my winter travel adventures. And I usually wear these on the plane with me. Another shoe I like to bring again is black leather. And as you know, most of my stuff's black because it's Black goes with everything and looks great, but these are another to slip on. These are great for travel because they stretch, but they just slip on and off your foot really easily and they look really nice. Again, I've even worn both of these pairs of shoes with dresses and these wool leggings. So something like this, if you like a slip on, you don't wanna worry about laces, something like this works great. They also have good treads on the bottom. I don't know if my shoes are really dirty, but that's what they look like on the bottom. And again, waterproof leather so that if they get a little bit wet or snowy, they're not gonna get ruined. Now there are a couple of other items that I would possibly wear or at least definitely bring on a trip with me and something like this is the number one thing. These are wool leggings. And what I love is that, you know, wool, it just repels body odor. There's something about it. I can wear these for days and days and then they just don't smell. So I love these because if I am gonna be out playing in the winter snow, I can put a pair of snow pants over these and use these as a thermal layer. If I'm gonna go work out, I can wear them. If I'm just hanging around my room, I can wear them. Um, I can also put them under a dress. If it happens to be really cold, I can put these under a dress and help keep myself a little warm. So these are a must have. These probably go in my personal carry on item because they're just so versatile. A couple of other items in your personal carry-on to consider are things that are reversible. So it gives you a couple of different looks when you're on your travel adventure. So something like this works great. So let me know in the comments below what are your favorite flight outfit essentials. Things that when you fly, you're like, these are my tried and true. Things I wear on every flight because of comfort, versatility, washability, packability, and things like that. Let me know in the comments below. All right, I've got to get packing for my trip. So remember to juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple, keep your packing simple and your travel outfit versatile. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.